hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this elegant title reveal animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin project files are available in the description so you can do check it out and download that files and you can practice it later if you're new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in adobe after effects let's create a new composition as always i'll call it as main animation width is 1920 height is 180 frame rate is 30 and duration is also 30 seconds and background color is black color and simply hit ok then choose grid and guide option and hit on title safe action then make sure that you are clicking on toggle mask and shape path visibility so click on it select our text tool and i'm going to type one text you are free to type whatever text you want i am going to type motion font i have chosen this poppins bold and i will also decrease the distance between these alphabets let's make this minus 45 like that select this text press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to, oh sorry it should be minus 45 select this text press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center then go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically press s for scaling option and scale it at appropriate size somewhere around like this Select this text, press Ctrl D to duplicate it. Press V for selection tool by holding shift. Let's move this over here. Hit Ctrl T to select this text tool. Select this text, hit Ctrl A and let's type design like this. Hit Ctrl A to select this text and scale it down. Go to the font properties and instead of bold, I am going to choose regular version of this font. Select this text, press Ctrl Alt Home again press v for selection tool and we will move this text over here somewhere around like this now select this text hit ctrl d to duplicate it let's move this over here press r for rotation and let's rotate it on minus 90 degree and we will adjust this somewhere around over here press ctrl r to create this ruler and we will bring one line over here and we will bring one line over here now select this text let's move this somewhere around over here press y to select our pen behind tool and by holding ctrl we will drag this over here press s for scaling option and scale it somewhere around like this select this text and let's move this over here press v for this ruler let's move this over here and move this over here like that let's select this text and let's move this a little bit over sorry somewhere over here let's decrease the font size a little bit like that press y again and by holding ctrl i'll bring this over here press v and now i'll move this over here i think we need to increase the distance between this alphabets so it will adjust properly yeah so we will get something like this and if you want for this one you can choose light version also and let's see what we will get we will get something like this now press g on your keyboard to select our pen tool and from here to here by holding shift i am going to create this kind of strokes like that yep this looks good to me now select this selection tool we will select this much portion let's move this upward select this let's move this over here like that now i am going to select this shape then go to the contents go to the shape go to the stroke and i am going to choose round cap then go to the add menu and choose round not trim but sorry hit ctrl z i'll choose round corners go to the round corners and increase somewhere around like this yeah now uh, what we will do hit the u and now i'm going to choose pen tool and i'm going to create one stroke like this and stroke width i'm going to choose 4 then we will go to the add menu and we will choose repeater go to the repeater 1 i'm going to increase the copies to 60 transform repeater 1 let's decrease this position somewhere around like this 
and now increase this copies like that yep let's hide this for now now select this uh, what we call rectangle tool and let's delete this stroke we don't want that and i want fill with red color and hit ok zoom in a little bit and let's create one shape over here something like that then press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center and let's move this over here now i'm going to enable my stroke layer press v for selection tool and let's move this somewhere around over here and in track mat i'm going to choose alpha mat so we'll get this kind of lines like that so now it's uh, our design is almost ready i'm going to select this text let's move this somewhere around over here because this looks good and this creates more sense and now our text design is almost ready if you want then you can move this over here also like that so now it's time to animate those things so let's select this text first go to the text go to the animate i'm going to choose position and let's move this somewhere around over here like that and go to the range selector one let's make this 50 or something if you see this is 50 this is 50 so let's make both of them zero or uh, let's make in 100 and start zero create one keyframe over here and one keyframe over here and go to around 10 frames and let's make this 50 by 50 like that select those keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift let's move this handle over here and this handle over here so we'll get something like this go to the add go to the property i'm going to choose tracking and we will track something like that so we'll get something like this also go to the add property and i'm going to choose opacity and let's make this zero so we'll get something like this now what we will do we will go inside this motion we will select this animator one we will hit ctrl c to copy hit u select the remaining text and simply hit ctrl v so we will get those animation for those texts also let's go to 20 frames select this design move this over here go to the 1.10 frames select this design and move this over here like that so we will get different types of animations or you can select this and you can choose 10 frames distance also like that now uh, what we will do we will go inside this design text animate uh, what we call it, uh, text animator one and for this one i am going to de de delete this what we call tracking options we don't want that also for this one Go to the text animator one property and we will delete this tracking because we don't want that and hit u so we will get something like this now we will animate this one so but before that hit ctrl d to duplicate it and let's hide this one for now go to the shape go to the contents go to the trim path and add trim path and let's make this zero create one keyframe one keyframe at the offset also hit u go to around 10 frames and let's make this 100 and let's make this offset 180 so if you see this we will get this kind of animation now select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift let's move this handle over here and this handle over here so we will get this kind of animation now we will select this sh shape and for this one i'm going to choose red color and hit ok and bring this over here and for this one stroke width i'm going to choose 20 like that now what we will do we will go to the add menu and we will add trim path go to the trim path and let's make this 70 or let's make it zero at and create one keyframe go to around 20 frame and let's make this 70 like that and alt click on the stopwatch and type time into 60 select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here and this handle over here 
so we will get something like this yep so if you want you can select this uh, layer hit ctrl d select this one press s for not scale scaling but let's increase the stroke width and if you want then you can choose different color for that like purple or something so you will get this kind of lines and you can go to the trim path over here and go over here you can make this 80 if you want you can change this one to 20 start so we'll get this alternations over here so this is how you can create this kind of animation you can change the position of these keyframes like that and create one keyframe at the start let's make this zero go over here and let's make this 20 select those keyframe and hit f9 so we will get this kind of stuff now as you can know we have created this motion text over here now i am going to duplicate this text and i'm going to choose black color for the text and white color for this stroke and stroke width i'm going to choose two or let's say four like this and i'm going to select one rectangle i don't want any stroke or instead of that i'll delete the fill and i'll create one shape like that and i'm going to increase the stroke width somewhere around like this press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center press r for rotation and rotate it like that and let's move this over here um, if you enable this option this is my text with black color uh, fill and white color stroke and this is my shape with the stroke and i'm going to choose alpha mat like that and let's disable this option so we will get this kind of stuff so if you see this animation we will get something like this now i'm going to select this shape press v for selection tool let's move this over here create one keyframe at the start let's go few frame forwards i mean around over to five second and oops sorry or uh, it's on rotation let's delete the rotation keyframe press p let's move this over here create one keyframe go to around five frames and let's move this from here to here like that so if you see this animation we will get something like this so as simple as that now what we will do we will select this motion text which is the text with the black color stroke and i mean black color fill and white color stroke i am going to duplicate this and i'll no track mat over here and now i am going to reduce that fill we don't want any fill and the stroke width i have to choose two like that and i'll bring it totally backwards and with the help of pointer keys i'll move this somewhere like that and for the stroke width i'm going to choose 0.5 or let's say 0.8 so we will get something like this well, let's just choose 0.5 and if you want then you can choose different color for this main text which is in a white color now you can choose different text for that like this blue or different or something right now i'm going to choose black only and now uh, all we the remaining thing we need to animate is this so press p for position create one keyframe go to around five seconds and let's move this over here so if you see we will get continuous animation of these lines also i'm going to select this mask of this one press s for scaling option unlink this create one keyframe go to around two frames forward create another keyframe go to the start and let's make this zero select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here and this handle over here so we will get something like this and if you want then you can choose different color for this stroke also like i'm going to choose somewhere around let's say pink 
so we will get this kind of animation now as you can see we have this extra stroke layer over here let's make this stroke to one like this and right click create and i'm going to create shape from the text so it will create the outlines let delete this text we don't want anymore then go to the add menu i'm going to choose trim path go to the trim path and let's make this 50 and go to the start let's make this zero first create one keyframe go to around few frame forward and let's make this 50 at this point like that or let's move this over here select those keyframe hit f9 and now i'll click on the stopwatch of the offset so select this offset i'll click on the stopwatch time into 60. so we will get something like this now select all of them press ctrl shift c and i'll call it as text and hit ok hit ctrl d to duplicate it press s unlink this and let's make this minus 100 press p for position and bring this over here like that select this text uh, choose rectangle tool and i'm going to create one mask which is gonna cover the half of the portion and go inside this mask and increase the mask feather somewhere around like this select this text press t for opacity and let's make this 40 right click new and create one adjustment layer go to the effect and presets panel and search for glow effect on it and up double click glow threshold i am going to choose 95 glow radius choose 100 and glow intensity choose 0.5 and let's disable this title animation so we will get this kind of animation go to around 5 seconds hit n right click new and create one null object select both the text and make it apparent with this null one select this null one press s and let's make this one one zero create one keyframe go to around six seconds and let's make this hundred so if you see we'll get this scaling down animation for our animation so this is how you can create this elegant text reveal animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugins so that's it for the today's video we will see you in my next video so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates until then stay tuned